Welcome back. It's time for another two more Excel. I'm Bill Chung from Mr. Excel. I'm joined by Mike Gurin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 110, Three Lookups. Okay, today's question from Judy at YouTube. I have a list with five product choices, another list with six packaging choices, and a um, list that shows the discount. And for each of these cells, we need to look up those tables. Let's take a look at the table. So here's our uh, product table, here's our packaging table, and then our discount table. Now, before I start to write this formula, I want to make life a little bit simpler. I'm going to just go to those answers there. I'm going to give it a name of Pro, as in product, and these answers here, I'm going to give that a name of Pack. And uh, just because I'm lazy, I'm going to do equal 1 minus this. Uh, do this work here in this table, and then we're going to name this whole range to be Discount, DISC for discount. So we have Pro, we have Pack, we have Discount. Let's, uh, or DISC, let's go on here. Okay, so uh, three components. First component is that we need the um, cost based on the product. So I want to use the index of my Pro range, comma, and which one do we want? We want the right of this. F4, 1, 2, 3 times, comma, 1. Okay, why did I press F4 three times? Because I want to lock this down to column H. See the dollar sign before the H? That's saying that we're locking it down. Now, this is going to give me, in this case, the text number 1, the text number 2, the text number 3, text number 4, text number 5. Uh, and you would say, well, hey, wait, you can't use that text there. Um, but I tested it, and sure enough, it works. So here, let's just uh, take a quick look at that. And it is pulling the correct product cost. That surprised me. I figured I was going to have to multiply that by uh, 1 or something like that to, to coerce it into a value. Uh, but it turns out that I do not have to do that. So that's our first lookup. I'm going to add the product cost based on the pack. So I'm going to use, again, the index of our pack name. And that's going to be the right of this cell, comma 1. All right, so now I have the uh, price of the pro, the product, and the price of the pack. Of course, this I'm going to have to put a dollar sign right there before the two. Could have pressed F4 twice, but I forgot to do that. All right, so we now have uh, these two items being added up, and we need to multiply it times the discount. Times the discount. Now, uh, you know these numbers here: 25, 50, 61, 43, 29 are not in my discount table, but luckily the discount table is sorted. So that means that uh, we're going to be able to use the comma true version of VLOOKUP. So right here we're going to multiply that whole sum times VLOOKUP of this value. Press F4 one, two, three times to lock it down to the column. And our table name was called discount, comma, we want the third column and true. We don't have to put true in, we could just leave it off. Although I always put true in there just to remind myself that this is the uh, range type of lookup. Ooh, okay, I wonder if we uh, really want to have that out to three decimal places. Probably not. Uh, Judy didn't say it, but I'm going to do a round comma two to make sure that, that is uh, rounding correctly. All right, there you go. I think that's it. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Man, it's great to be back doing duels after not doing them for a long time. Hey, this formula totally cool. Look at that. The right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is beautiful. Index, right, V lookup. I'm going to go ahead and do just do three V lookups um, and assume that maybe in some situations you don't have those numbers there. So over here, now I'm, I have the uh, tables over here. I'm actually going to name this sheet tables. Two, right, and then use these. I'm going to do the same thing Mr. Excel did, but um, since I have, I'm going to use three VLOOKUPs. I need the table, table, table. So I'm just going to come up to the name box and call this um, product T. Enter. How about pack T, pack T for package table, and then discount T. All right, so I got those names. Now I can come over here. 
uh, yeah, we have to add the actual cost and the package, and then multiply it times the discount. So I'm going to use the sum function. How about that? And then just go number, number, and have a VLOOKUP in each. So I'm going to say VLOOKUP, lookup value. I'll do the product first, and I'm going to hit the F4 just like Mr. Excel. The column is locked, so when I drag it this way, it's locked there. But when I drag it down, those little dancing ants will move down, comma, within the product table. Oh, look, it's all the way down at the bottom comma 2, because the thing we're returning is in the second column. And I'm going to do ex uh, exact match, because we I'm assuming that you might have different names and they're not sorted. All right, And now that's just sitting right there in the number argument. So I type a comma, and then I'm going to do VL of this. And this one needs to be F4 two times. Lock the row reference. So as we copy it down, it's locked down. But when we move over this way, those dancing ants will move over to the next package name, comma. And it looks like we have a pack T. Same thing, second column has something we're retrieving and exact match. All right, so that second V lookup's in the number. I just close parentheses. Now that sum will add both of them. Now I'm going to go ahead and do one more times. Now, my table didn't have 1 minus the discount. And in order to take that, to that cost, and get the cost you're actually paying minus the discount. I'm going to say in parentheses 1 minus, and then the VLOOKUP. And so the VLOOKUP will be here the quantity. Same thing, 3 F4s to lock the column, but not the row, comma within discount T, dis T, comma. And this is 2. Second column has something we want to retrieve. And I'm leaving it off, because the default is approximate match. All right, now that will give me the price all the way through, just like that. Now I'm going to assume that maybe we want total cost. Notice I have highlighted, I mean, I've uh, copied this over so the whole table is highlighted. The active cell right there, I'm just going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode, and I'm going to multiply that amount times the quantity. Now this will have to also have the F4 one, two, three times column, but not the row locked. Now, to my edited formula in the active cell, I want to send it into all of the highlighted cells. I hold Control and Enter. That tells the edited formula to please repopulate into all of the selected cells. F2 again, and let's do a round around that. Comma 2, close parentheses, Control, Enter. All right, uh, throw it back to Mr. Excel. All right, Mike, that was cool. Three V lookups, one of which was true, and then a uh, nice trick there at the end with the Control Enter. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun.